Hey everyone, welcome to What's Going On. This is the fourth video now. And hopefully I'll stick to it. As I said in the last video, I was going to Montreal and here I am. I did want to record yesterday, but there was so much to do. Uh, by the time I got here, I was a bit tired. Yes, yeah, woke up at 5.30 in the morning. Um, I got ready and stuff. I went and picked up Jack. I then went to the airport. Uh, probably got there for seven, maybe, from um, then we got through security pretty fast, had our bags checked in and everything. So we sat in the lounge till about nine when our plane was boarding. We got on the plane, that plane was going to Paris, so that took an hour. So we got to Paris around 11.30 local time, which is about 10.30. Um, UK time, uh, it's just an hour ahead. Um, we spent three hours and 40 minutes in Paris. Don't believe movies. Every time you see in movies, no matter where you're looking, if you look outside a window, you see the Eiffel Tower. You could be in a room which has four windows and all of them point to the Eiffel Tower but that's not really true <laughs> so we spent the whole time in the airport so um, it's a really confusing airport especially if you don't speak French <laughs> um, yeah but we, we managed to find the um, the Air France lounge um, we stayed in there played a game a few games of Smash um, had a drink and stuff like that. And then we boarded a flight. The flight to Montreal was seven hours and 40 minutes, which it's longer just because, well, it's longer just because we're going, we had to go further away when we got to Montreal. Um, it was, 5.30 local time, so it was about 10 p.m. because they were like five hours behind us. Um, so I was pretty tired by this time, but I'm not going to bed at 5.30. Well, it wasn't anyway because it took us half an hour to get through customs, and then it took us an hour to get our bags, it, it felt awful. I genuinely thought that someone either stole the bag or that it didn't get load, loaded on in Paris and I would have to buy new clothes. Jack said he was prepared to just go to shopping, get some new clothes. Um, but we got the bags, they were fine. Um, so we went to, get a taxi and the queue for the taxis were massive that must have taken at least half an hour and it's a half an hour ride by taxi to downtown montreal and we are staying in the mc suites hilton um and it's pretty nice um yeah we i got my room I was going to record, but then we're like, no, we'll have a quick shower and we'll, we'll walk around. So we walked outside, we went and just took in the sights, as it will. Um, and then we got a message to meet up with some other people. So we went to the, um, so we went to the bar down the road and we had a few drinks. We ended up leaving the bar at about 
I think it was about 11. Uh, so 4 a.m. <laughs> at this point. Got home. Oh, before we got home, went and picked up a McDonald's. Had they they've got poutine instead of fries with a meal and poutine and a quarter pounder and had a massive thing of nasty. I love nasty. Don't understand how much I love nasty. It's pretty much why I didn't record yesterday. Um, today I've been at work most of the day and then afterwards they took us to an arcade so we had uh, we had a few drinks there, played some games. Yeah, after that, it started raining. It's still raining now, as you can probably see from the um, the glow around the green on the buildings up there. Um, so we walked back, it was about half an hour of a walk. It's a really nice place, Montreal. Um, Yeah, so I'm a bit damp from the rain and I thought now's the perfect time to probably show you around. Hopefully I can get some more footage like, in the next couple of days. Um, but for now, I will show you the room. Yeah, so as you saw, the window. Nice sofa. Where I had my arms last night watching some TV. Like, American TV is weird. I know I'm in Canada, but I was watching NBC. They're just the adverts, they're just strange. Yeah. The fireplace underneath the TV. Mm. Not been to many hotels what have a fireplace. Especially on the eleventh floor. <laughs> yeah. Nice kitchen area. Stuff to make coffee. A dishwasher. Like when do you ever see that in a hotel? It's a bit weird. Full oven and microwave. Some nice little treats. We got some probably art. And that's me. Yeah, that's me with a tripod holding it. Because I forgot to bring my gorilla pod. Um, down here. That's, that's just a cupboard uh, in here. We got my shower cubicle, a mirror, which is really weird because it's in a wonky place. Watch. Look, you have to be in the doorway to see it. Watch. So if you, if you stand in the doorway, you can see yourself in the mirror. It's a bit weird. I would have tilted it a little bit. And there's this massive bath. TV up there. Another window for a nice view. And then the bed itself is oh, oh, a nice king size bed. I might fall asleep. Oof. 
one other thing, I totally forgot to bring uh, the battery charger for my camera. I was charging my spare the night before we were going and I just forgot to put in my luggage. Luckily, I bought some fairly cheap battery packs. Um, I mean, if you got a Lumix GH5, I'll link it down in the comments. It was like 20 quid and you get two batteries and a charger, so it's pretty good. Um, but it's definitely saved my life because otherwise this would have run out and I would have had nothing. And that would have been bad.